I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Marjorie Taylor Greene is an out of control maniac, okay? There was an incredible moment during a committee hearing today where Democratic Congress member Robert Garcia put up a photograph of a tweet that Marjorie Taylor Greene posted where she spread vile and dangerous conspiracies about COVID and he was just reading it. Then Marjorie Taylor Greene jumps in and calls for order and decorum and calls out the Democratic Congress member for attacking her, which she argued was inappropriate when he was just reading her post. And then the Republican chair, all MAGA Republican chair, had to intervene. And you'll see what went down. Uh, we have seen this tweet behind us before. Uh, and this person, of course, uh, sits on uh, this very committee who just actually gave some very irresponsible facts uh, to uh, to our witnesses and the, and the committee as well. But just like RFK and other conspiracy theorists, members of this committee continue and continue to attack vaccines. Vaccines save lives. The pandemic costs us 1.3 plus million Americans. It's the single largest, most devastating loss of life event that we've Mr. had Chairman, in the modern era. Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's, a, it's the most significant uh, uh, yes. loss of life we've had in I, the modern I'm, era. I'd like, Ms. Rick, please pause for a second. I'd like to make a point of order and ask the members to be reminded of the rules of decorum, Mr. Chairman. I'm sure, I'm, what, what rules are those? The gentleman from California will suspend. The issues we are debating are important ones. Members feel deeply about them. You do. Everyone here does. Everyone. While vigorous disagreement is part of the legislative process, members are reminded that we must adhere to established standards of decorum in debate. It is a violation of House rules and the rules of this committee to engage in personalities regarding other members or to question the motives of a colleague. Remarks of that type are not permitted by the rules and are not in keeping with the best traditions of our committee. The chair will enforce these rules of decorum at all times and urges all members to be mindful of their remarks. Mr. Chairman, what rule did I Does break? Does the gentlelady from Georgia have any further? Anything no. Mr. Chairman, the I'm gentleman sure. may proceed. Thank you. I'm not sure what rule I broke. I actually didn't call anyone out by name and uh, did not actually disparage anyone. Let, let, I showed a actual tweet that um, one of the committee members actually tweeted. It's a public statement in the public record, so this is absolutely not disparaging anyone um, unless the committee member wants to retract uh, what was set up here. Um, we, can read, we can read it if we'd like. It says a tweet. It says, vaccinated employees get a vaccination logo just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. And that's the thing with these MAGA Republicans. I mean, the audacity right there after all of the conduct she's engaged in just this week and just moments before she said that for her to call for decorum. I mean, this is an individual in Marjorie Taylor Greene who was showing non-consensual dick pics during a committee hearing to try to attack Hunter Biden, who never held a government position for things that he did when he was abusing drugs many years ago. And she's saying decorum. She's calling it is outrageous. Let me just show you what went down, you know, within moments of what you just saw. And this is where Marjorie Taylor Greene is basically calling out the national director of uh, drug control policy. Um, and watch this exchange where Again, she just says the most inappropriate and deranged things, and you have a doctor who's answering the questions like appropriately. Play the clip. The Biden administration is busy sending crack pipes, syringes, and safe sex kits to drug addicts in the name of harm reduction. There has not been any harm reduction, Dr. Gupta. People are dying every day. Um, but are these so-called harm reduction strategies really the most effective way of dealing with the drug crisis in America? Wouldn't it be easier to deal with the drug addiction and drug overdose if there were fewer drugs in our country? Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, clearly, if there were fewer drugs, um, that would help. But at the same time, we've got to deal with a crisis we have at hand. I understand the plight of rural America coming from West Virginia. Every single day, I've treated patients. I know the pain. I know the suffering. I've seen people die in my arms. Um, 
what, 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 I, what we're trying to do right now is to meet people where they are. Somebody's overdosing, they need naloxone or Narcan. I, as a doctor, as you know this, cannot treat dead people. So the first thing we've got to do is keep people alive. We also have to get them into treatment and go after the bad guys and their trafficking profits. And this is the reason that the president is committed to making sure we have technology at the border that detect every bit of fentanyl that's coming through. That's a commitment and top priority of the president. Right. And in the past 48 hours, she went on the House floor and she demanded that Congress immediately move to impeach President Joe Biden based on her deranged and disturbing conspiracy theories. Play this clip. And it continues on. What I'm demanding is that the Republican-led House of Representatives move forward on an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden, because this type of corruption should never be allowed to stand. We must expunge President Trump's wrongful impeachments, and we must impeach Joe Biden. And then, of course, last week, this is what she did regarding Hunter Biden, which is just absolutely disgusting. Play the clip. Mr. Chairman, um, we're one minute and 53 seconds over. As long as Ms. Ocasio-Cortez can get equal time, uh, she can keep going. I, I will uh, l let uh, Ms. Green wrap up uh, five seconds, and then uh, I'll give Mr. Mufume additional time. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Shapley, you, you started an investigation under Hunter Biden, codenamed Sportsman, which opened in November of 2018. Um, it, it was an offshoot of an investigation the IRS was conducting into a foreign-based amateur online pornography platform. Um, this, this is evidence uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Of, Mr. of Hunter Mr. Biden Mr. making sex, hey, excuse me, this is my time, coming making of, okay. pornography. Should we be displaying Mr. this, Mr. Mr. Chairman, did, 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 in the committee? The lady's time has expired and uh, went two and a half minutes over. Yes, the Marjorie Green calling for decorum. The Marjorie Taylor Green, who did this to a poster board of Donald Trump. Been there in the mucky swamp. Diane always has them in the swamp. But it's amazing. Yes, the Marjorie Taylor Green, who said this. She made a video of herself at the gym and posted this on her social media platform. Joe Biden, you're not a president. You're a piece of shit. Yes, the Marjorie Taylor Greene who made horrific, horrific, disgusting statements supporting the dangerous and vile conspiracy theories of RFK Jr. Completely false, baseless things that need to be condemned. And here's what Marjorie Taylor Greene said. Play the clip. You have the weaponization committee uh, and all the Democrats are outraged at, at Bobby Kennedy because he's talking about the very real possibility that COVID-19 could have been engineered to target people by race. And so the Democrats are trying to censor him. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, just uh, just maybe an hour ago, was trying to completely shut him down and censor his speech. Yes, that is the Marjorie Taylor Greene who was calling for decorum. And what I call for is that Marjorie Taylor Greene should be nowhere near our Capitol building, should be nowhere near the halls of Congress. Marjorie Taylor Greene represents everything that is wrong with the MAGA movement and what the MAGA movement has done to the once relatively proud Republican <laughs> Party because that party is no longer recognizable. It is people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, and it is beyond, beyond disturbing. But we'll keep calling out that behavior here on the Midas Touch Network. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch, and wherever you get audio podcasts, subscribe to the Midas Touch podcast, and have an excellent day. Hey, Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.